Well, ladies and gentlemen, uh, it's my joy and honor to be with you today to celebrate Mr. Castles and his 90th birthday. Would you please rise for the presentation of colors and the singing of the national anthem by Jamie O'Neill. Oh, say can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we hailed at the twilight's last gleaming. As a pastor, to have a member of the church who understands God's sovereignty, God's care, God's love enough that the way that he lives his life, the way he makes decisions, the way he makes corporate decisions, that his faith is so much of it. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, Mr. Castles. Happy birthday to you. And now, Mr. Castles, my most respected and admired role model, when your work on earth is complete, and I hope it's many more years from now, and not any time soon, and you rejoin your beloved Charlotte, I say to you, I am sure with the consensus of this whole group, and many more, you will hear from that one that you have obeyed, loved, and followed so consistently. Well done, thou good and faithful servant. Let me start by saying that the love and respect that Wanda and I have, and my whole family, in fact, has for you knows no bounds. You've been a role model, a mentor, and a good friend for most of my adult life. You're a respected leader throughout the whole transportation industry, certainly in the state and the whole country. It's really been an honor and a privilege to know you. Ladies and gentlemen, as already been said, it is very rare to find a person of the highest position who chooses to take the position of servant. We thank you, Mr. Castles, for being one of those extremely rare people, a beautiful reflection of Christ. Happy birthday, sir. Mr. Castles, in honor of your 90th birthday, our Fleet Services Department has proudly created a special piece of custom art just for you. And here it is. How about that? <laughs> When a man lives or a woman lives a life of integrity, blessed are his children and blessed are his grandchildren. And we just witnessed the impact that's having on his grandchildren. Um, you have blessed us and so many other people because you have lived a life of integrity, humility, and, uh, and, and you've influenced us all so much. Um, and, uh, you know, we just love you and wish you the best. And, again, thank you, everybody, for being here. Please come say hello to him if you haven't when this is done. Happy birthday, Dad. As I stand here tonight, I uh, 
I've got to be the most blessed man there ever was. I've got a strong, supportive, loving family. I've got a job I've had from a career that was not a job, it was a labor of love. I fell in love with this business the first time I smelled some diesel fuel back when I was a teenager. And I felt just as strong about it yesterday when I came to work. I love this industry. I love this company. And I think the reason I love all of them is because I love the people in this room so much and those of you that I've had the privilege to working with and call as friends for so many years. So I just want to thank all of you for that. And as we leave tonight, I want to ask one other thing. And I asked the group from the support center last week the same thing. When you get home tonight, do me one favor. Pull out your calendars and write down today's date, this time, and this place, 10 years from now. And let's come back and do it again. It's a lot of fun. Thank you so much. We appreciate you.